At the point when I was told by the optician that my vision was so bad that I was borderline for driving, I was really at an all-time low because I just felt that even if I didn't completely lose my sight, if I couldn't drive anymore, then all my independence was gone. I felt like I needed to move house, needed to be nearer to my son, put my house on the market. I was just like a headless chicken, really. Well, I'm, I'm so lonely is one of the things. I'm used to being with people and I find it very difficult not to be with people. It's affected my life more and more and unfortunately I had to lose my job and leave it in July 2012 and um, in January 2013 I lost the confidence to drive so I no longer drive. It's like a fog, a mist and of course one eye is there's nothing for my personal problem and the other eye is just mist. Uh, it's just, I can't see faces, I, you know, people uh, that I do know, I just walk past them until they say, you know, they shout to me and then I realise who it is. So it, it's, it's a very distressing situation. The Macular Society for me have been brilliant in so many ways. Um, they can offer the support, guidance, practical help, um, which I think has made my life so much easier. I don't feel so lonely. I know that Tess is going to ring and also I might be sitting here and one of the carers might be in here at the same time and they'll say, well, Tessa will be ringing any minute. They've all got to know Tessa. Tessa will be ringing any minute. Yes, she has been. That's been wonderful. They allayed all my fears and they helped me through to resolve this terrible problem of not getting the treatment on time. So it was wonderful. Full marks, full marks to the Macular Society. She wanted to make sure that when we finished the counselling that I was really in a good place. And that's exactly what I was. I'd, I'd moved from this, this dreadful place where the house had to be sold. I felt like my life was over to going completely full circle, to sort of looking forward, looking forward to the rest of my life and realising that things weren't going to be as bad as I'd anticipated.